You're about to buy a Tesla, or maybe you already have one. It's a sleek, futuristic car, right? And you've heard about autopilot. It's like having a personal chauffeur, right? But here's the burning question, does it actually stop at red lights? I mean, think about it. You're cruising down the highway, hands off the wheel, enjoying the ride. A red light flashes up. Do you trust your car to hit the brakes, or do you have to be ready to take over at a moment's notice? This is a big deal, right? It's about safety, it's about convenience, and it's about trusting a machine with your life. So, let's break it down. First off, there's autopilot. This is what comes standard with your Tesla. It's pretty cool, it can handle lane keeping, adaptive cruise control, and even automatic emergency braking. But when it comes to red lights, nope, not gonna stop. It'll slow down if the car in front of you slows down, but it won't recognize the light and hit the brakes on its own. Now, here's where things get interesting. There's full self-driving, FSD. This is an optional extra, and it's where Tesla really starts to push the boundaries of autonomous driving. With FSD, your car can navigate complex intersections, change lanes on its own, and yes, it can actually stop at red lights. But hold on, it's not perfect. FSD is still in beta, which means it's still learning and improving. There will be times when it makes mistakes. It might miss a red light, or it might slam on the brakes for no apparent reason. So, while it's impressive, it's important to remember that you're still the driver and you need to be ready to take over at any time. Let's talk about how this works. Tesla uses a combination of cameras, radar, and ultrasonic sensors to see the world around it. It's constantly processing information, making predictions about what's going to happen next. When it sees a red light, it uses these sensors to determine the distance to the stop line, the speed of the car, and the behavior of other vehicles. Then, it decides whether to stop or go. It's important to note that Tesla is constantly updating its software. New features are being added all the time, and existing ones are being improved. So, what's true today might not be true tomorrow. So, to answer the question, does Tesla Autopilot stop at red lights? Well, it depends. If you have the base autopilot, the answer is no. If you have full self-driving, the answer is yes, but with caveats. Now, let's talk about the ethical implications of this. We're giving cars the ability to make life or death decisions. Who is responsible if something goes wrong? The driver? The car manufacturer? The software engineers? These are complex questions with no easy answers. And then there's the issue of job loss. If cars can drive themselves, what happens to truck drivers, taxi drivers, and Uber drivers? It's a massive shift in the job market that we need to start thinking about now. So, while Tesla Autopilot is impressive, it's important to approach it with a healthy dose of skepticism. It's not a magic bullet, and it's not going to replace human drivers anytime soon. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.